Pokemon fans, I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries here with a very exciting brand new TCG product here for you guys straight from Japan courtesy of yabai-japan.com. Definitely go and check them out. There's a link in the description down below. Uh, They're a very great company for Japanese product and they always come through for us as you guys well know by our previous Japanese product openings in the past. Definitely an awesome company, so definitely go and check them out for your Japanese TCG needs as well as many, many other things as well. With that being said, guys, we have in our hands here the 20th anniversary Japanese CP6, which is going to be our evolution set in English. This is super exciting. I've been wanting to open this up for like ever now. <laughs> as soon as I saw it announced, I was like, this is my set. This is my set. This is where my childhood lies. It is a reprinted set of a lot of the original first sets. I mean, you're talking uh, base, jungle, and definitely fossil, I believe. I believe that's all there is. I'm not sure. I'm not 100%. I haven't reviewed the entire set yet. However, I do know that those three are at least there. Um, super excited about this, guys. Unfortunately, N cannot be here with us today because he is at work. This box came in express mail, so, I mean, I had to... Uh, take advantage of it right away and crack it open as soon as I possibly could and get it up for you guys as fast as possible Which is why it's a little bit later than usual. Hopefully not too much later I don't know how long it's gonna take me to uh, edit render and all that good stuff And I just cut my fingernails yesterday So getting into the plastic here is not the easiest thing, but we are in we are in guys the seal has been broken We have our box here before you um Oh man, I can't wait guys. I'm like out of breath. I just signed for it by the post office and I'm like, ah, I gotta get this thing open. <laughs> so here we go guys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at the Charizard. Oh, I can't wait. They even look a lot like the old cards as well, which I'm really excited for. We got some new ones here as well, like this Dragon IDX. We got our original Pikachu and Professor Oak down there as well. Oh man, look at this. It's beautiful guys. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. So, like I said, guys, this is Japanese CP6, and it looks like this one has 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 packs? Am I counting that right? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 packs. Wow. Okay. I think there's 10 cards per pack. I'm pretty sure, but we'll see once we get into it here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the top of these all cut open for you guys, so that way we go through a seamless opening, so we'll be right back. Okay, guys, the seals have been broken. All 15 packs are ready to go. They are all opened up. They don't work the same way as English packs. For those of you who are newer to Japanese openings, uh, you can't really open them up the same way, so you have to cut the tops off of them to make sure you don't damage the cards and you don't rip up the packaging too much either. So, here we go, guys. Oh, man, so excited. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to bring the booster box back into the picture here so we have a place to stack these up here as we go through them. Oh, wow. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is so long in the making. Like, 1999 was the first time I saw these cards. Oh, wow. Just looking at the Sand Shrew already. Whew, wow. All right. So after uh, watching my buddy 8-Bit Bach open up his box, I learned that the pack trick is three to the front, which is pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty fitting if you ask me. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is Imakuni's Doduo. Oh, this is a special card that we never saw in English. So cool. Imakuni is a really funny character. If you guys played the Pokemon TCG uh, trading card game um, for Game Boy, Imakuni was a character that appeared in random gyms and had the weirdest, weirdest uh, character. Um, he's a very popular in Japan as well. But oh my gosh, so funny. We start off with Imakuni's Doduo. Very cool. All right. So our next card is a double colorless energy. We have a bee drill. Oh, look at this bee drill. Oh man, oh man. I'm telling you guys, so much nostalgia here. We got a sand shrew, Charmander, Poliwag, Ghastly. A lot of base set cards so far. We got a Tangela, a seal. Oh, so cool. This was a, a Mew card that was never part of the set of any set for a matter of, as a matter of fact this was a black star promo in english but it was included in one of the japanese sets this mew hollow oh wow it's so gorgeous and I, you know it's funny i picked purple sleeves too and the first card i picked is a psychic type and it's mew that is so cool oh very cool very cool love this love this guys i'm super excited as you can already tell Oh, man. So, uh, one thing to note here, there is no guarantee of pulling a secret rare, which I think is kind of cruddy because there's 13 of them in the set. Now, oh, I did the trick wrong. 
<laughs> Whoops, sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> I messed up the trick there. But um, there's 13 secret rares in the set, which means there's 13 full arts and secret rares, which would be like in English, um, our secret rares. So it's really, really, really hard to complete this set. But we're going to do our best we can here to hopefully pull a secret rare. So let's go. We got an Arcanine, a Deevolution Spray, Magikarp, Caterpie, Diglett, Magmar, Seal, Rotata, Oh, no, no, this wasn't the wrong order. It had a hollow and an ultra rare. What? Yo, that is cool. I didn't know that was possible. I didn't know that was possible. I don't know if I didn't pay close enough attention, but yeah, that is really cool. I did not do the pack trick wrong. It was a polyrath hollow followed by a mega Venusaur. EX. This threw me off because the borders look gold. I could have sworn for a second that it was some kind of secret rare, but that wouldn't make sense because all the full art should be secret rare. Whew, wow. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's go on to the next pack here. I didn't think I did the pack trick wrong, but then, you know, when you see a hollow, you're like, wait a minute. Something is not right here. Oh, so weird. Oh, here we go again. Raichu hollow. Why, though? I don't understand. Why is there a hollow in the front? Oh my gosh, we got a Raichu hollow, a Beedrill, Machoke, a Ghastly, Kakuna, a Staryu, Magnemite, a Nidoran male, Doduo, and a Nido King break. So I don't get it. You get a hollow and you get a hollow in every pack and also an ultra rare as well. I didn't I did not know that. I did not know that. That is so cool. Okay, so Nidakin Break, that's a brand new card, something we've never seen before. Uh, the Breaks and some of the Megas are obviously cards we've never seen before. So this is really cool. Wow, I did not know you could do that. So I guess there's really no way to avoid spoiling it if, uh, <laughs> if you do the pack trick. So, oh man, I don't remember the name of this card. I do not remember the name of this card. I think it has something to do with energy, but I can't remember what. Ugh. I'm not. I'm never gonna remember it unless I go back and look. We got a Doug Trio, a Starmie, Poliwhirl. We got a Drowsy, Pikachu. We got a uh, Poliwag, Growlithe, an Onix, and a Machamp Hollow. Interestingly enough, uh, Machamp was not ever a non-first edition card. Now this is first edition because it's Japanese, and Japanese still does first edition down here in the corner. But there were no non-first edition Machamps ever printed in English. They were all first edition. So that's one cool thing to note. All right, let's move on to the next pack here. One, two, three, to the front. All right, keep it going. Oh, we got a Chansey right at the front. <laughs> well, you know what that means, guys. There's something good in the back. Oh, uh, well, all right. So here's our Chansey Hollow. We've got a Dugong, Doug, uh, Doug Trio, and a Diglett <laughs> right next to each other. We got a Vulpix, a Magikarp, Garp, Garp, Onyx, Caterpie, Another Nidoran male, and a Mewtwo EX. Oh, this Mewtwo has three attacks. The very first one I've ever seen that has three attacks. That is so cool. Look at that, guys. So that's already three Ultra Rares out of this box and a lot of hollows. Oh, yeah, I need to make sure uh, Chansey here gets itself a hollow or a, a sleeve as well, since it is a hollow. All right, next pack. Oh, man, I love this set. Love it. I love it. I love it. I cannot wait for it to come out in English. It's going to be so cool. <sighs> All right, I want to say this is maintenance. I think it's maintenance. Nidorino, Farfetch'd, Coughing, Weedle, we got Machop, Magmar, Sandshrew, Caterpie, and... Oh, my gosh. We got the Charizard Hollow, guys. Oh, my gosh. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. This was the second most wanted card that I was hoping for right here. We got the Charizard, guys. Oh, that is amazing. Woo! <laughs> they upgraded the Charizard to do 200 damage. They upgraded the HP from 120 to 150. So beautiful. Oh, man. I never pulled a real Charizard as a kid. Like a regular one out of base set. I never, ever pulled it. Not once. And now here we are. 2016. 17 years later... 
and I just pulled my very first Charizard Hollow with the base set artwork. Oh, that is so cool. All right, so a very long awaited Spirit Link set here. We do have Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise Spirit Link. So there's our Blastoise Spirit Link, Charmeleon, Raticate, Seal, Vulpix, Electabuzz, Rattata, Diglett, Voltorb, and a Gyarados Hollow. One of my other favorite, uh, second favorite, I should say, second favorite Hollow of the set is Gyarados. I always love this card. I don't know why exactly, because it's not like it's essentially any where you know any any good and competitive but i did have a deck once that i tried to build with gyarados when i was a kid and it didn't go very well but i just liked gyarados a lot as a kid all right guys next pack here one two three to the front we still have i think one two three four five six packs to go we are moving through it kind of slowly but it, it's a special box guys bear with me so we got a pokedex a machoke arcanine star you porygon Magikarp, Ponyta, Doduo, got a Metapod, and a Magneton Hollow. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'll set that over there and move on to the next one. All right, lots of Diglett, a lot, a lot, a lot of Diglett. I just noticed that. It's like every other Packer so has a Diglett. All right, Farfetched, Starmie. Ooh, a Charizard Spirit Link with both of the versions of Charizard. Mega Charizard X and Mega Charizard Y on it. That is cool. I like that a lot. There's our Diglett. Another Magikarp. Ghastly. Onix. Rotata. Charmander. And another Raichu Hollow. So you can get duplicate Hollows in these boxes as well, which is actually something I already knew from watching 8-Bit uh, Box Box. 8-Bit Box Box. Wow, that's, that's kind of hard to say. <laughs> Oh man, one, two, three to the front. All right, we've got another Raticate, another Charmeleon. This one that I can't remember for my life, I don't know why. Nidoran Male, Sandshrew, Tangela, Growlithe, Weedle, Voltorb, and oh my gosh, I don't believe it. We just got our second Charizard Hollow. Are you kidding me? How does that even happen? I don't believe it. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting, guys. I can't believe I have two Charizards in my hand right now. Oh my gosh. Double, double score, double score on this one. Unbelievable. Oh man, the only thing that's going to get beaten out now is if we pull the Secret Rare Charizard on top of it. That is the best box ever if we pull it. Oh, I can't wait, guys. I hope that we get it. I really, really hope that we get it. It's going to be kind of hard to do, but I hope we do it. Two Charizards, guys. Oh my goodness. Unreal. Absolutely crazy. All right, guys, let's continue here. So much magic in this box. Wow. I cannot believe we've got two Charizards so far. I don't even, I don't even know what to call this box anymore. <laughs> All right. So we have our first Haunter. We've got a Beedrill. Uh, revive. I believe that's a Revive. We've got a Drowsy, a Metapod, Doduo, another Pikachu. We got a seal, Kakuna, and a Mewtwo Hollow. Yes! Oh, yes, 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 yes. We've got Mew, Mewtwo, Mewtwo EX, and two Charizards. Oh, this box, this box, this box is just too much, guys. Oh, man, what a beautiful thing. I love Mewtwo as well. That's another Hollow that's like high on my list of top. That's, that's in my top five favorite base set Hollows of all time. Oh, man. All right, so next pack here, we've got ourselves an Arcanine, Machoke, Super Potion or Potion? I believe it's Super Potion. We got a Ponyta, Magne Magnemite, almost said Magneton for some reason. I don't even know why. We have a Machop, Coughing, Poliwhirl, Ghastly, and another Gyarados Hollow. So we have doubles of Magnemite, what do we got? No, doubles of Raichu, doubles of Gyarados, and doubles of Charizard. That is kind of weird. Um, I actually ran out of sleeves, so give me one moment here. All right, guys, my apologies. I had to get another couple sleeves here. I only got 15 sleeves something, and we got 15 packs. There's no way I'm going to be needing more than 15 sleeves. But little did I know that that's exactly what I was going to need, was more than 15 sleeves. So let's keep it going here. Oh, yes. Hitmonchan, the MVP of the original Haymaker deck. This guy right here used to hit so hard for so little energy. Back in the day, anyways. Um, he's been altered just a bit, and he's nowhere near as good as he used to be. 
However, Strong Energy still makes it 50, Fighting Fury Belt makes it 60, and it does give him uh, 130 HP. So, eh, you know, hard to say, but used to be the MVP. All right, we got ourselves another Haunter. Uh, this is Brox something. Brox some Brox Guts. There we go, Brox Guts. We've got a Growlithe, a Nidoran Male, Weedle, Poliwhirl, Pikachu, Drowsy, and a Venusaur EX. So we have Venusaur EX and the Mega. That is really cool. Really cool indeed. But I think that means we may not see any secret rares in this box. But I'm kind of okay with that given the fact that we do have two Charizard Hollows. I mean, that's just overkill if we had any secret rares to add on top of it. But that's okay. We got two packs to go, so let's enjoy them here. We've got a Dugong, a Doug Trio, Switch, Vulpix. Kakuna, Magnemite, Caterpie, Staryu, Voltorb, and a Ninetales Hollow. Very pretty Hollow as well. There used to be an error with this particular card where the uh, attack did 80 damage, but the number didn't show up here. It was an error, showed up in a, a few Ninetales. I don't remember exactly how many, but it is a pretty valuable error, and it's something I've always looked for, but I've never been able to find, at least not one in my price range anyway. All right, guys, I'm going to move the booster box out of the way because we are on our final pack here of CP6. Here we go. One, two, three. We can only hope. Nope. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we did not get anything else, but we do have an Electrode, a Nidorino, Professor Oak, uh, Professor Oak something. I don't remember what it is now. It's not Professor Oak exactly. It's like a tropical beach. I remember that you can draw up to seven and then your car, your turn ends. And I don't remember the exact name of the card. Um, forgive me. I just haven't had a chance to really look into the new set in there as much as I wanted to. We got a Porygon, Machop, Ponyta, Coughing. We got a Poliwag, an Electabuzz, and a Nido King Hollow to go with our Nido King break. That is pretty darn cool. All right, guys, let's sum it all up here. Um, <laughs> oh man, what a great box. No secret rares, but that's okay. I don't mind that nearly as much. Um, I'm going to separate out the hollows. Like I said, I'm just happy we got Charizard. And then the fact that we got more than one Charizard was just like, whoa, that is so cool. So we're going to get our double hollows here together, our ultra rares down here, and then our hollows up here. So all in all, fantastic box. Cannot complain at all whatsoever. And a big shout out to Yabai Japan once again for being our sponsors and providing us with every single Japanese set so far. Um, it's been really awesome doing business with them. And I got to say, they are such a great company. Always on point. They do have great prices and great products to choose from as well. So definitely go and check them out. Like I said, there'll be a link in the description down below for Yabai-Japan.com. Please, guys, if you're looking for Japanese stuff, check them out and definitely uh, consider them for your next Japanese purchase. All right, here we go. So, out of this box, we got a Hitmonchan, a Polyrath, the Mew, which I'm so happy about. I love this Mew. We have a Ninetales, a Machamp, Mewtwo, Chansey, Nidoking, Magneton. We got one, two Raichus, one, two Gyarados, arguably the best card out of this entire box. Not one but two Charizard Hollows. I don't even know what to do with myself with this. We've got the Nidoking Break, Mewtwo EX, Venusaur EX, and Mega Venusaur EX. What a great box, guys. I am so happy that we were able to do as well as we did. And <laughs> I can't get over this. I cannot get over this. Two Charizard, one box, guys. Unbelievable. Well, guys, with that being said, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more TCG content here on the Pokemon Evolutionaries. And we hope you guys are going to be in the next video as well, which will be tomorrow. Seems like every single day we've got something for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. And again, shout out to Yabai Japan. Go check them out, guys. Great company, great products. With that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and we'll see you guys next time.